Problem 15. A vessel statutory freeboard is 2 meters. She is loading in dock water of RD 1.015 and her freeboard is 2.1 meters. TPC is 24 and fresh water allowance is 200 millimeters. Find the dead weight available. Now whatever we have done thus far is, was basis drafts as well as load lines. But now we are going to do with respect to free boards and load lines. You can work the same problem both ways, either with drafts or with free boards, with load lines or with free boards. So let's go to the problem and the drawing first. This is the data that is given to us in the problem. Sum of free board is 2 meters and the, she is floating in dock water 1.015. Her free board in dock water is 2.1 meters. TPC in salt water is 24 metric tons per centimeter and the fresh water allowance is 200 millimeters. It is always best to draw what is given to us in the problem. It's easier to understand that way as well as it is easier to make your calculations. So let us see. We have the load lines and it is given to us that our summer free board is 2 meters. That is this green line that I have highlighted and it is to the top of your summer load line. This summer freeboard is 2 meters. Also given to us in the problem is that the dock water freeboard is 2.1 meters which corresponds to this red dashed line. This is your dock water and this is your freeboard of 2.1 meters. Thus we see right away that the height between the summer load line, the top of the summer load line and your dock water free board is 0 0.1 meters or 10 centimeters. <clears throat> now since she is floating in dock water, we have to calculate her dock water allowance. Fresh water allowance is given, TPC in salt water is given. So, dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance multiplied by the difference of the two relative densities divided by 0 0.025. TPC being in salt water, we have to convert that to TPC in dock water of 1.015. So, let us see how this works. As per my calculations, we have a dock water allowance equal to 0 0.08 meters or 8 centimeters. Thus, to calculate the dead weight available, we have to add 0 0.08 and 0 0.1 to find the sinkage available, which is equal to 18 centimeters. And that multiplied by the relative density in dock water will give us the dead weight available. This method has to be used to calculate dead weight available because it is not given to us the displacements at your summer draft as well as your displacement at your dock water draft. So let us see how this works out. Dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance multiplied by the difference of relative densities divided by 0 0.025. Fresh water allowance given is 200. Salt water relative density 1.025 and dock water relative density 1.015. The difference of the two divided by 0 0.025 gives us equal to 80 millimeters or 0 0.08 meters or 8 centimeters. Hence, 
the ship can load up to 0.08 meters above the summer draft. That is, she can load until this line that I have highlighted for you with a dock water allowance of 0.08 meters. Hence, the freeboard dock water allowance 2.1 minus 0.1 minus 0.08 equal to 1.92 meters. Freeboard in with dock water allowance is equal to 1.92 meters. That is this blue line. Okay, 2.1 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.08 is equal to 1.92 meters. Therefore, the sinkage available is 2.1 minus 1.92 equal to 0 0.18 and that is equal to 18 centimeters. TPC in salt water is 24 metric tons per centimeter. Therefore, TPC in dock water will be 24 divided by 1.025 multiplied by the relative density of dock water which in this case is 1.015 giving us dock water TPC equal to 23.77 metric tons per centimeter. Therefore, dead weight available equal to sinkage into TPC. Sinkage is 18 centimeters. TPC in dock water is 23.77 metric tons per centimeter. You multiply the two and you get your dead weight available to be 427.9 metric tons. Problem number 19. Before I start, I would like to draw your attention that there is a typographical error. Statutory summer freeboard 28 meters is incorrect. It should actually be 2.8 meters. So problem number 19 states that from the following details calculate the dead weight available. Present freeboard on the port side 3 meters starboard side 2.9 meters and the ship is floating in water of relative density 1.020. Fresh water allowance is equal to 28 millimeters. TPC is 30. Statutory summer freeboard is equal to 2.8 meters. To putting it into perspective, all the data that is available in the problem, let us see now. Port side freeboard, 3 meters. Starboard side freeboard, 2.9 meters. So the mean of the two is 2.95 meters. That is, from the top of the deck line to the water line, on your center line is 2.95 meters. What is given to us is that the summer freeboard is 2.8 meters and since freshwater allowance and TPC are given we can easily calculate our dock water allowance and after calculation, we find that the dock water allowance is equal to 40 millimeters. Now, in the earlier problems, when we were doing with load lines and draft, we were adding the dock water allowance to get the total allowance required from the water line to the uh, dock water line. But when, since now we are working with free boats, that same dock water allowance has to be subtracted. Therefore, from your summer load line, which is at a free board of 2.8 meters, we subtract 
four centimeters and we get the free boat the final free boat required on completion after loading of cargo equal to 2.8 minus 0 0.04 equal to 2.76 meters thus what is the actual allowance that we can load to get the dead weight available it will be equal to 2.95 meters minus 2.76 meters and that will be equal to 0 0.19 meters TPC is given as 30 metric tons per centimeter in salt water obviously and that has to be converted to TPC in dock water so let us see the solution now freeboard on the port side 3 meters freeboard on the starboard side 2.9 meters therefore the mean freeboard is 2.95 meters as I explained earlier dock water allowance is equal to fresh water allowance multiplied by the difference of relative densities divided by 0 0.025 when we put in all the values we get the dock water allowance is equal to 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters or 0 0.04 meters therefore as I explained earlier, freeboard to waterline in the dock water is equal to 2.8 minus 0 0.04 equal to 2.76 meters. Two point eight meters is your summer freeboard, and your dock water allowance is 0 0.04 meters from that you subtract from your summer freeboard and you get your freeboard required equal to 2.76 meters your present freeboard on the center line being 2.95 meters the difference between the two that is 2.95 minus 2.76 will give us the amount of sinkage that is possible now that sinkage works out to 0.19 one nine meters or nine hundred and ninety millimeters or nineteen centimeters. TPC given in salt water is thirty metric tons per centimeter. Therefore, when we convert it in TPC in dock water, it's thirty divided by one point zero to five multiplied by one point zero to zero equal to twenty nine point eight five metric tons per centimeter. To calculate dead weight available, it will be equal to TPC into the sinkage. That is 29.85 into 19 equal to 567.2 metric tons. Problem 20. From the following information, calculate the dead weight available up to the tropical load line in salt water. Present free boats. Port side 1.68 meters, starboard side 1.79 meters in water of relative density 1.017. Tropical saltwater freeboard given is 1.63 meters. Tropical saltwater draft is equal to 9.6 meters. <coughs> Freshwater allowance is 150 millimeters and TPC is 20.4 tons per centimeter. So given the information that in the problem the port side freeboard is 1.68 meters and the freeboard on the starboard side is 1.79 meters thus the mean freeboard on the center line is equal to 1.735 meters until the water line from the top of your deck line now what is given to us is the tropical freeboard is equal to 1.63 meters also given is fresh water allowance of 150 millimeters and TPC 
So from the fresh water allowance, we can calculate the dock water allowance and that works out to 48 millimeters or 0 0.048 meters. Tropical freeboard given is 1.63 meters. The top of the tropical load line. From 1.63, when we deduct 0 0.048 meters, we get the freeboard is required to calculate the dead weight available is equal to 1.582 meters. Therefore, once we deduct from 1.735 meters, we deduct 1.582 meters, we will get the sinkage available. So 1.735 meters minus 1.582 meters will give us 15.3 centimeters. That multiplied by the TPC in dock water. TPC in salt water given is 20.4, which we convert to TPC in dock water, divided by 1.025 and multiplied by the TPC by the RD of dock water 1.017. And therefore we get that equal to work it out now and see how much we get. Twenty point four divided by one point zero two five multiplied by one point zero one seven equal to twenty point two four. So let's see the solution now. Mean freeboard is equal to the freeboard on the port side plus the freeboard on the starboard side divided by 2 equal to 1.735 meters. Dock water allowance formula is fresh water allowance multiplied by the difference of the relative densities divided by 0 0.025. Substitute the values 150 multiplied by the difference of 1.025 and 1.017 divided by 0 0.025 giving you 48 millimeters or 4.8 centimeters or 0 0.048 meters. Therefore, the freeboard required is equal to 1.630 minus 0 0.048 equal to 1.582 meters. So from 1.63 meters, we deduct 0 0.048 meters to get a freeboard required of 1.582 meters. <coughs> Sorry. Therefore, the ship can load additionally by 1.735 minus 1.582 equal to 0 0.153 meters and that is equal to 15.3 centimeters. TPC in salt water is given as 20.4, therefore TPC in dock water works out to 20.4 divided by 1.025 multiplied by 1.017 equal to 20.24 metric tons per centimeter. Therefore, the dead weight available, that is what the ship can load extra is equal to sinkage multiplied by TPC. Sinkage is 15.3 centimeters we have calculated here and the TPC in dock water we have calculated here 20.24 giving us dead weight available equal to 309.7 metric tons. Thank you very much. I hope I have explained all the 20 problems to you from this exercise 5. Give me a, sh uh, give me a thumbs up a like and share this video as well as subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.